Raysbeck Aviation High School is a college preparatory school focused uh, particularly on the aviation aerospace, which is a STEM-related field. Well, when we developed the concept for the school, we knew that we wanted to both prepare our kids for college and for work. And we needed flexible space in order to do that. The staff, I think, was just thrilled to be in a facility that they got to help design. But it was by far the most unique and diverse group of people I've ever worked with. There were industry leaders, there were people from the Museum of Flight, there were parents, there were many students, there were designers. It doesn't look like a high school. It looks like a place where you go and invent things. So the first time I walked into this building, it was such an upgrade from where we were before. Um, I, it really just felt like the building and the technology were matched at the level of passion that the students were. I knew that kids, when they got involved in doing some kind of training that was real and authentic, they just lit up and they would do incredible things. When the school was conceived in 2003, the goal was to find a way to inspire students and community to come around and improve math and science scores. So we bounced from temporary home to temporary home before finally landing on a you know, plan to build right next to the Museum of Flight. When people drive down the East Marginal Way here, they see this wonderful Museum of Flight, and then they look over this direction and see this design that looks kind of like an airfoil, and it speaks to aviation before you ever see the name on the door. So uh, designing this building on this particular site uh, really lent some advantages and challenges to the, the design team as we move forward. We were looking for an opportunity to really make this part of the um, campus of the museum. So that was, a, that was a real plus to have that already established architectural style. So there are two things I appreciate especially about the architecture of the school. One is the flexible arrangement in the classrooms. The second one is the sense of community. The Grand Atrium, if you wanted to say goodbye to 95% of the students, you can stand in the Grand Staircase and see nearly everybody. There's nothing better than going to the end of the hallway and getting in one of those flex spaces and um, being able to look out. The view is just terrific. Uh, those whiteboards that uh, are on the walls, kids gather around them to think. I just think that's an incredible aspect that every school should have. Outside of the teaching and learning functions, one of the other aspects around the building's design that's really critical uh, ties into our career readiness program is the mentor rooms and those are used all the time before school, after school, during lunch. Uh, we have approximately 150 industry mentors. So the mentorship program here, we get assigned students generally in their sophomore year and we stay with them all the way through graduation. We help them think about things like college opportunities, professional uh, development, how they can learn how to have not only the hard skills that you need for a career in aerospace and STEM, but also the soft skills of, of dealing with people and, and networking, uh, making professional connections. They really like let me tour and explore my different interests at different places and different companies. And so I got to see how engineering works in the real world. Well, the Student Commons is really the hub of the school. This is where kids hang out. They come here before school starts in the morning, they uh, get on their laptops, they work at the tables facing out to on both sides. Um, they can hold uh, dances in here if they want and have their uh, food catered up on the top. Uh, the other uh, opportunities that are just uh, this natural light is a big deal in the Pacific Northwest. It isn't in the middle of January when it's gray, it's still nice to have uh, that natural light come into the classrooms. There's enough evidence in the literature that shows that natural light uh, definitely supports student learning, and so that's a critical piece. One of the things that's in this building is a special project lab that has a wind tunnel in it, and that directly comes from that um, a, someone's a teacher's interest in making sure students have that ability to really test their designs to make sure they work well. We do have a very cool school here. And sometimes if you're just here all the time in the grind of things, having a visitor come in and, oh, that's right, 
this school is amazing. And uh, that, that's the, you know, it's kind of a reminder about how special it is. So I think the most exciting thing about Raceback Aviation High School is that it really gives students permission to dream and to dream big. Mm -hmm.